As I mentioned in the video, today we're gonna create one-click music videos. And believe me, this actually works. I was genuinely surprised by the results myself. First, you'll need to download this plugin. After that, you'll also need ZXP Installer from AE Scripts. Once you've downloaded it, install ZXP Installer, launch it, and then simply drag and drop the ZXP file into the installer window. It will automatically install the extension for you. When the installation is complete, open After Effects. Go to the Window Extensions menu, and there you'll see flashboards available in the list. That means everything is set up correctly and we can start working. Now, what do you need to create a one-click clip? Let's start from the basics. In real life, you're just a regular person, like me. But for a music video, you want to have a specific artistic persona or visual image. For this clip, I want to appear in a particular stylized look, so it's important to prepare that in advance. You should have at least two key photos of yourself, a medium close-up and a full body shot. This is very important. You need both a full body shot and a medium close-up so the workflow can properly understand your character and keep it consistent across different camera framings. Next, what do we do? I've already prepared several AI-generated shots. Let's quickly look through a few different examples. As you can see, there are some interesting compositions here. For example, scenes with two characters in the frame and more complex setups. To make these kinds of shots work correctly, I strongly recommend using the workflow I'm about to show you, especially if you want your clips to look polished and professional. The idea is simple. Combine two images into one, your full body shot and your medium close-up, so they sit together on a single reference image. Why is this important? Let me demonstrate. Here is the original reference I found on Pinterest. I fed this image into the workflow, and then I replaced the character with myself. What happened as a result? My character was inserted perfectly into that environment. Everything blended together seamlessly. The lighting, the colors, the overall mood. The integration looks very natural, and that's exactly what we want. This entire workflow is available right inside Flashboards. If we go to the Character Fashion section, you'll find a workflow called Character Replacement. As you can see, it also works for 18 plus style or more provocative looks, basically any kind of stylized character design. All you need to do is choose your main character photo and provide your reference image. On the output, you get a final frame where you are placed into that stylized scene. I have several other examples. Here's the original reference and here's what we get in the end. Again, original and here's the final result. There's also another example where the result isn't perfectly accurate. That happens sometimes, and it's totally normal. Minor issues are easy to fix in Photoshop or any other editor, or even directly inside this workflow if you prefer. Now, let's move on. I also have a music track ready, which is great. That means we're set to actually build the clip. To create a one-click music video, we go to the Pipeline tab and choose the option Image, Audio, Video. After that, we can simply select all the required assets, our images, our track, the prepared character shots, essentially the entire setup for the clip. Once everything is selected, we press Generate. As you can see, Flashboards automatically creates a separate board, and all of our frames for the video appear there. The system starts processing everything for us. So what exactly is happening now? The tool is taking our reference images, our character photos, and our audio track, and it's building a complete sequence of shots that can be used as the foundation for a full music video, essentially giving us a ready-to-edit, stylized clip in just one click. As you can see, our music track has been automatically sliced into segments of about two to three seconds each. That's exactly what we need. At this point, the generations have started. The system is now creating all the individual scenes for our clip. You can see that we're getting 28 shots, 
each with a duration of roughly three seconds. In total, that gives us around one minute and 25 seconds of video, give or take. The generation process is underway, and after a while, the system will finish and build the entire clip for us. Let's jump a bit forward in time and see what's happening. You can see that the generation is in progress. As soon as some of the shots are rendered, the system immediately continues with the next ones in the queue. In total, we have 28 shots, and I've prepared 28 frames in advance specifically for this video. One by one, they will all be generated. Let me remind you that up to three generations can run in parallel at the same time. In the future, I want to upgrade this so that you can run an unlimited number of simultaneous generations. Let's open one of them and take a look. Everything looks great. The visual quality is strong, the style is consistent, and the character fits nicely into the environment. Now we just wait for the remaining scenes to finish rendering. We're almost at the final stage. While I'm waiting, I'm doing a bit of manual sorting and organizing of the scenes for myself. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you click directly on any generation that hasn't finished yet, the system will quickly locate it on the timeline. This is useful if you suddenly lose track of a shot because it's hidden behind other layers or blocks on the timeline. Let's quickly check another one of the generated scenes. It looks really impressive. I honestly can't wait to see everything stitched together. The final assembly of the clip will happen automatically once all generations are done. And here we go. The generation is complete and our music video is ready. Let's play it back and see the result. If you're happy with how the clip looks, perfect, you're done. But if there are moments you're not fully satisfied with, here's a powerful trick I want to share. I'm planning to integrate this into the automatic pipeline soon, but for now I'll show you how it works manually. You probably know that you get five free generations in Sora. Why do we use Sora here? Because, as you know, Sora has restrictions on generating people, but there's already a built-in workaround that lets us avoid those limitations. Here's the idea. First, we write a simple prompt like music video. Then we take our nine keyframes and turn them into a single collage, a grid-style reference image that combines these shots. Once we have this collage, it becomes a perfect input for Sora. We click to generate, take these 12 selected frames, or however many we choose, and run them through Sora again. We prompt it with music video, then another music video, and again, basically stacking multiple variations. We'll use all five free generations, so Sora gives us several beautiful, highly stylized shots. These new shots are ideal for replacing the parts of the clip that you don't like. Maybe the lip sync is slightly off, maybe a moment feels static or lacks energy, or there's a section where the character is just sitting while the music is building up. In those spots, 
we can drop in more dynamic, visually rich scenes generated by Sora. Right now, I'm doing this manually just to demonstrate the process clearly. But the plan is to automate it within a couple of days, so you'll be able to run this whole enhancement step with a single click as well. For now, I simply want you to see how the manual version works. In essence, this image audio pipeline already gives you a strong result, as you've seen. For teasers, trailers, and short promo clips, a 1 minute 30 video like this can easily be cut down into 30 second, 40 second, or 50 second fragments, or sometimes even used as a full length piece. Let's see Sora clips. I'm going to wait until all of these additional shots finish generating, and then I'll re-edit the video using the new material. Sora has already completed its task, and as you can see, it successfully bypasses the real people limitation. Flames in the rear view, passing the dust. I ain't looking back, got a future to trust. Slide through the city with a rope on my waist, cooking up plans in a beat up place. Subway humming like a kick drum low, head in the clouds. I used to dream it, now I walk it through the city like it's mine. Heart in my hands, yeah, frame it on the skyline. Cameras in the cold, still I'm feeling in the zone. Reflections on the glass keep showing me I've I've been out under bridges where the trains hum low, pain, heart shapes in the frost, letting everyone know. Cameras on the rooftop, snow on my collar, still I spit it like the sun made of gold in my heart. Now let's review all the clips we've generated. We click Use in Composition and drop the selected shots directly into our timeline. Perfect. They integrate seamlessly with the existing edit. From here, we continue inserting the rest of the enhanced shots one by one, replacing the weaker moments from the original version of the clip. Now let's see what we've got. Money coming model, I like it. Money coming model, I like it. Shawty coming model, I like it. Maybe coming model, I like it. Electric sound melted down by the bass, breaking down the walls. I don't care about the case. Eardrums are shaking, you can't handle the pace. 50 50 chance, stop the noise in the place. Yeah. Money coming model, I like it. Shawty coming model, I like it. Great, now we're ready for a fully automated setup where you can generate an entire music video from just one image and one audio track. I've already prepared the illustration and this will be used as the visual base for the whole clip. You can do the same with any image of yourself or your character. Just make sure it matches the style you want for the final video. Next, you'll need to write a prompt. For example, using the reference image, Help me generate 24 surreal storyboard images of a fashion model going from indoors to outdoors with medium close-ups, close-ups, and extreme close-ups using different camera angles and different locations. Of course, the exact number of scenes depends on the length of your track. In my case, 
I'm using three seconds per scene. So if your track is, say, three minutes long, you simply calculate how many scenes you need, track length divided by scene duration, and mention that number in the prompt. Once you've figured out the number of scenes and finalized your prompt, just hit Generate, and the entire process will run automatically. Now we've got 24 fully generated shots, and everything looks solid. The next step is to wait for the video render and compositing to finish. Once that's complete, we end up with a fully assembled clip with a total duration of about 1 minute and 14 seconds. So, our updated music video is ready. Let's hit play and see the final result. Not a bad result at all for a fully automatic video. I hope you liked it as much as I did. However, I decided to push it further and generated one more music video, this time adding an extra layer of polish. And here I want to highlight something important. You really should take advantage of what After Effects can do on top of AI generation. In this version, I've made several additional edits directly in After Effects. So if you're already familiar with After Effects, this workflow is a perfect match for you because you can enhance the automatically generated footage with your own visual effects and stylization. As you can see, I've used effects like Kaleida, Smear, Invert, and a few others to add more motion, energy, and variation to the final piece. Don't be afraid to experiment with these tools. They can dramatically level up an already strong AI-generated video. All right. Let's take a look at the final result with all the effects applied. Money come and I like it. Money come and I like it. Shorty come and I like it. Baby come and I like it. Electric sound melted down by the bass breaking down the walls. I don't care about the case. Eardrums are shaking. You can't handle the pace. 50 50 can't stop the noise in the place. Yeah. Yeah. Money coming, model. I like it. Shorty coming, model. I like it. Baby coming, model. I like it. By the way, all the music I'm making now will be available on all major platforms. Great, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.